This is the definition of how you make your life more complicated. Here I have two tripods with me that on paper at any rate are pretty much identical in specification. On my left hand side I've got Leofoto's LS284CL tripod and on my right hand side I've got Leofoto's Mr. Y, the correct designation being LY284C. On paper these two tripods are pretty much identical. Both of them weigh around 1,600 grams. Both of them are billed as travel tripods. Both of them have a maximum payload of 10 kilograms each. Both of them have 10 by carbon fiber weave tripod legs. Both of them have milled aluminum apexes. Both of them reach up to 1.6 meters. Both of them get down to a ground level of about 14 centimeters. And to top it off, they're both 7,499 Rand in South Africa right now. So how do you decide between the two? Let's start with the LS284CL. This is a more conventional tripod from Leo Photo. The only difference being that it is extra length. That's what the CL stands for. The LS284CL weighs 1.505 grams. So it's just one and, a, one, one and a half kilograms. Although the literature is going to tell you that it weighs 1,540 grams. That's simply because the little tripod plate that comes with it weighs 35 grams. It actually weighs 1.505 grams. It reaches a height of 1.6 meters above ground level, which is pretty impressive, especially as it has no center column. And this is the important point. There is no center column on this tripod. The standalone height here is only the first part of it though. The CL version also comes with a extendable center column that you should attach between your head and the tripod legs itself, which gives it an additional 30 centimeters of height. The caveat to this is that when it is folded down, this tripod has a length of 61 centimeters. You can get that down to 58 and a half centimeters simply by folding the ball head over when you are packing and suddenly it's that much shorter. But 58 and a half centimeters is fairly long if you're trying to pack that into a bag. So as a travel tripod, it's not necessarily the shortest of tripods when fully packed and compressed, but thanks to the apex of the tripod, it is very narrow. And this is one of the reasons why Leofoto chose to not include the center column on their standard range of tripods. It does make them that much narrower, which gives you that much more ability to pack it into tighter spaces. It's not just about the absolute height of a tripod though. The long legs of the CL version of the 284 make it easier to get those legs into a position so that they are firmly planted. Shorter legs limit the amount of positions that you can actually get your legs into. Then we have the LY284. Now the LY has Leofoto's standard length tripod legs, which means that at the moment it doesn't look all that impressive when viewed next to the 284CL in terms of its height, but it has a little ace up its sleeve. It has a center column built into the tripod so that when it is fully extended, it's actually three centimeters taller than the, L than the LS284CL. On paper, at any rate, this gets you a little bit extra height. Leo Photo have managed to keep the actual circumference of the packed tripod identical with the newly designed Mr. Y Apex. This is quite a clever apex which allows a center column to be included while still maintaining that narrow, narrow, tight fit. And the way they do this is by making the center column a Y shaped tube of carbon fiber, hence the Mr. Y designation. If I'm going to start splitting hairs in terms of the specifications though, the Mr. Y is marginally heavier than the LS284CL. The Mr. Y weighs in at one kilogram, 615 grams. So it is slightly heavier. Of course, if you take away the little plate, it actually comes in at 1.580 kilograms. So it is slightly heavier than the LS284CL, but it does get you that extra height and the kicker here, of course, is that when you fold the tripod down for packing, it has a fully extended length of only 56 centimeters, 53 and a half if you do the same thing again and you simply fold over your ball head. It is that much more packable than your LS284. 
2.284CL when we actually come down to it at the end of the day. But Leofoto didn't just stop there. They also redesigned the side of the apex as well. So now instead of having three angles to your legs, you have a fourth angle. This means that you've got that much more maneuverability in terms of how high you want your tripod to be when you are down at ground level. An advantage of the column in the LY tripod, of course, is that you can do rapid height adjustment if you're shooting things like macro subjects or if you're in the studio itself. The downside, of course, to the Mr. Y is that having a center column, it means that getting down to ground level is a little bit more complicated. For this reason, Leofoto have included a short, ground level kit made out of aluminium. So it isn't carbon fiber, it's aluminium. And the basic idea is that you can replace your center column by adding the ball head to the shorter ground kit, pulling, pulling out your long column, adding your short center column, and then you're going to get a much shorter tripod setup. So in other words, you can get down to ground level. Ground level in this case is 16 centimeters above the surface of the earth, which is actually one and a half centimeters higher than the LS284CL. So you've got a little bit of wiggle room over there in the sense that the larger or taller tripod in this situation can actually get down slightly lower. The center column has a nifty little hook at the bottom, and that's the same with the short ground level kit as well, which twists so as to create a lock so that the center column can't accidentally fall out of the apex if you were, happen to be walking with it facing downwards or something like that. The hook itself is made out of aluminium and again will be quite useful for hanging weight from if you're wanting to increase the weight of the tripod and thereby increase its rigidity in, for instance, windy conditions. Other than that, the tripods are basically the same in the sense that they have the same features. They both come with titanium spikes, so you can remove the rubber feet and include the spike rather. This is great for if you're working on rather slippery rocks or if you're in, the, in an ice field or something like that. They both have quarter inch threads on the side of the tripod so that you can actually attach attachments like the magic arms or a holder for your phone or similar uh, accessories. And they both come with the well-regarded LH30 ball head. The ball head itself is rather small and light, but does have a carrying capacity of up to 15 kilograms. The head has a pan base, a single locking lever, and at the top it has a simple screw clamp, which is Arca Swiss compatible. On the clamp it also has a leveling base, so you can see at least when your head itself is level from the clamp itself. Unfortunately, the tripod doesn't have a leveling indicator on the tripod itself, so it can make panoramics a little bit more complicated and this is where I would actually recommend that you add something like Leofoto's LB60N leveling head which goes in between the ball head and the tripod itself. Okay so here's the big question. If I were to spend my own money on one of these tripods which one would I choose? Now I've often referred to the 284 CEX as being one of my favorite travel tripods and now that's the essentially the 284 CL with the CEX leveling base attached. You can basically get the same and probably for less money simply by buying the 284 CL and adding the LB60 in leveling base to that tripod. So I would consider that tripod within what I would call the Goldilocks zone of tripods. It's light enough that you can consider it a travel tripod, but it is big enough that you can use it for larger rigs. So even something as big as a Fujifilm GFX system will be supported by this particular tripod. Although I would probably recommend using the LS36 ball head as opposed to the LH30 ball head in that instance. I already have an affinity towards the, LH, the LS284CL version of this tripod. Now I keep on emphasizing the CL aspect of this and that's because the CL makes it that much taller. It's important to remember that given two tripods of the exact same maximum height, the tripod without a center column is always going to be more stable and more rigid than the tripod that has a center column. The downside, if there is any, as I have mentioned before, with the LS284CL is that it isn't as packable as the original 284 length, which is actually the same length as this tripod, the LY284C. Now the LY is pretty special in its own regard. It is very, very packable. 
when you pull it down and you actually fold in the top ball head like that, you can see this is a tiny rig, which means that it's that much easier to carry with you if you happen to be traveling anywhere. However, it is also 80 grams heavier than the 284CL. Where you win in the terms of packing size, you lose in terms of actual weight. Although 80 grams really is, it's nothing. It's splitting hairs over here. Another significant advantage, and I do mean significant because it is, is that the Mr. Y series has that extra notch on the side of the tripod. This does make adjusting your tripod at a particular height that much easier. If you're working in windy conditions, it does make a difference if you spread your legs and you're able to actually get a much more stable platform. So having that extra adjustment is actually pretty important for photographers. I'd like to see that same notch added to the standard Ranger head in future, but at the moment it's with the Mr. Y and it is actually a reason to consider the tripod. Unfortunately, because the specifications are so similar with both of the tripods, it's one of those tripods that no matter which one you buy, you might potentially have a little bit of buyer's remorse wandering forever should you not have got the alternative the opposite of it because as i said right at the beginning they are both pretty much identical in terms of the specifications you just need to decide whether you want to have the simplicity of the old ranger style but an extra length leg or the packability and the bragging kudos on having such a special center column on the mr y tripod so yes if i have a preference it's probably going to be towards the cl version of the 284 tripod which unfortunately is only available in South Africa at the moment. So if you are interested, you do need to consider chatting to your distributor in whichever country you happen to be in, or you can order from South Africa. You can get these tripods both from Nature's Light or from Landscape Gear in South Africa. Once more, thanks again for watching. And if you found it interesting or you'd like to see some more, remember to pop a like and a subscribe in the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube block down over there. I will do more of these obviously in future and I will also continue with some more Capture One videos. At the end of the day, I think I would probably spend my money on the LS284, uh, but your mileage may vary and you might actually prefer the LY284. Either way, they're both fantastic tripods, they're both in that Goldilocks zone as I mentioned earlier in that they are travel tripods, they're light enough to carry with you all over the place, they are sturdy enough to handle a heavy rig as big as a Fujifilm GFX system if you need it to, so I think they're fantastic tripods regardless of which one you're going to select. And of course if you're that way inclined, Leo Photo are a system tripod, so if you really want to you can always change the legs, change the head if you're prepared to buy more than one tripod. So if you're looking for your Goldilocks tripod, these two are pretty high on that list of tripods that you can select from. All right, thanks again for watching. So let's see you again. Cheers.